our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. 33-year-old champion against 31-year-old challenger, Carlos Condit. Three inches taller, he will have a slight reach advantage. Once again, we check in with the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Chairman Anthony Marnell, Executive Director Bob Bennett, Commissioners Francisco Aguilar, Skip Evansino, Pat Lundvall, and Michonne Martin. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon side are Derek Cleary, Chris Lee, and Tony Weeks. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Sean McCarthy. This bout is sponsored by Bud Light, the perfect beer for whatever happens, and Metro PCS, where you can get nationwide coverage on the blaring fast 4G LTE T-Mobile network for just $30, period. And now, this is the moment UFC fans watching around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner of mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 30 wins, 8 losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, he is the former WEC welterweight champion and the former interim UFC welterweight champion and the number 4 ranked welterweight contender in the world, presenting the challenger, the natural born Carlos Kondek! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner! A mixed martial artist, holding a professional record. 26 wins, 10 losses, one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, presenting the reigning, defending, Undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Ruthless Robbie Lawler! Gentlemen, we've got all the rules in the back. I want you to protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. I want you to fight hard, to fight clean. If you want to touch gloves, touch them now. Best of luck to both of you. Oh boy. Yes, indeed. Robbie Lawler, Carlos Condit, welterweight belt on the line. Big John McCarthy, our referee. Ruthless. That natural born ready? killer. You ready? Let's get up. Here we go. The southpaw, Robbie Lawler, the champion. He's in the dark trunks, white trunks for Carlos Condit who first trained at Jackson Winkle John at age 15. As much as the fans love this matchup, as much as you and I love this matchup, Robbie and Carlos probably love it more than anybody else because of the mutual respect. They both relish the challenge. Absolutely. This is one of the biggest challenges of both of their careers. A combined 75 professional bouts for two men who truly were put on this earth to fight. But right now, Robbie is the one pressing the action. Good kick to the body there by Carlos. Robbie's taking control of the center of the octagon and pressing Carlos up against the cage, limiting his movement. Limiting, for sure, his back movement. UFC has teamed up with 7-Eleven to give fans a chance to win a new Harley Davidson. Download the 7-Eleven app on a smartphone. Verify your age for a chance to win the motorcycle. You can also visit a local 7-Eleven store for additional ways to enter. Who will enter the space in which they can do damage first in this part? But right now, Robbie's doing what he wants to do in pressing Carlos up against the cage. 
Carlos returned to me. Good shots there by Robbie. Over and over. And now it's all the people at American Top Team, Joe. Everybody, oh, oh he my. tagged him. He got tagged, now he's back up. Robbie seems to be okay. We won't, we won't know until they face. break. Robbie had a smile on his face when he got back up. It, it still doesn't mean anything. We really don't know. Oftentimes, guys smile to pretend they're okay. But he got tagged. Knee by Condit. Let's see if Robbie continues to backpedal or if he becomes the aggressor again. He connects. Well, Carlos has got to be very careful wading yes. into the storm because Robbie Lawler is one of the best in the world at absorbing punishment and coming back. We saw that in the Roy McDonald fight. He was badly hurt in the round before he stopped Roy. Everybody talks about Lawler with an unreal work ethic. The same holds true for Condit. And what a fight it was against Rory McDonald. The first title of defense for Lawler. He's looking for number two here. Carlos blocked that kick by Lawler. And being in this southpaw versus orthodox, it opens both of them up to the power side. Power back kick, power hand. He tagged him with a left hook there, Mike. Lawler now initiates a clinch. The knee by Condit. Good knee to the body and created space with that and allowed him to take the center of the octagon. Condit's striking has always flowed beautifully, just like that. Well, as we said, where Carlos has had a problem is with guys that want to take him down. Johnny Hendricks. The Tyron Woodley fight, of course, he was injured, he got hurt, blew his ACL out. But another excellent wrestler. George St. Pierre. Yep. When he tried to go from interim to undisputed against GSP. Robbie was raised in Iowa. He's got a wrestling lineage, but he likes to utilize his wrestling in reverse and knock people out. Good left hand by Carlos. Carlos is mixing things up well, Mike. Good start for Condit. Four minutes into a potential 25. Meanwhile, Robbie's recovered. Looks very good now. Light on his feet. Robbie's always said, plain and simple, I want to get better every day. This is the best Robbie Lawler we've ever seen. The same may hold true for Carlos Condor, who switches to southpaw. Kick to the body and a left hook behind it for Carlos. Really calculated attacks thus far by Condor. Well, Carlos is such a long guy, too. It's just difficult to get in on. Throws a lot of kicks. And when you do get in on him, he's excellent with elbows. And short punches, even though he has long arms, he throws tight, short punches. And let's take a look at the uppercut. Look what he did. He stepped in. It was almost like a left jab. Like a shovel hook. And there's a kick to the body. And Robbie landed a right hook there. Two-five all day. Two-five, yes. Two-five, two follow, follow green. green. All right. Kicking kick range. range. Yep. You know what I'm kicking range. Stay focused. He's gonna. This is the round. He's gonna That's try to take back over. And you ain't giving him nothing. Carlos Condit. He's been with Mike Winkle John since age 15, much like our new bantamweight champion Holly Holm. With another belt. Go home with a fighter from Jackson Winkle John in Albuquerque. Round two. Interesting that the corner of Carlos said this is where he's going to try to even it up quickly. This is where he's going to try to bring it. 
But Carlos has got to be very careful of this. As Robbie moves forward, he tends to get his back up against the cage. He's got to maintain the center of the octagon. There's a nice kick to the body by Robbie. Carlos does like to throw a knee to the body of his opponent, so keep an eye out for that. Goes high again, blocked by Lawler. Carlos always finishes his combinations, Joe. They're not just one and done, it's one, two, one, two, three, four, maybe a kick at the end. Rarely is it just in and out with one punch. Yeah, he's, he's very well trained in striking. Between Winkle John and Brandon Gibson, they've done an amazing job preparing him. Oh, there's a good left hook there, moved away. Carlos blew out his knee, of course, in the Tyron Woodley fight. He was out 14 months with that torn ACL. He said it was grueling to rehab. But he looked great in his return. And he's trying to be even better here against ruthless Robbie Lawler. Lots of kicks. Well, the kicks are going to keep that distance, and that's one of the most important factors in this fight. But Robbie Lawler has kicks, too. Robbie went right up the middle. Robbie looks like he's just trying to find his spot, look for his opening. He's being very patient, though. Condit, that quick knee at the end. Good knee to the body at the end there. Oh, Robbie caught him coming in. Lawler has always had a great self-belief. He's won seven fights in less than two years. And amazingly, like you said earlier, Joe, the first champion from American Top Team. Carlos is showing Robbie a lot of different things. There's a lot of feints going on. There's a lot of moves. Oh, oh my goodness! Robbie hit him with a big shot. Lawler looking to finish this fight. Carlos looking to recover. He got tagged. Absolutely. Carlos is very, very dangerous off his back, though, Mike. He will attack off his back. So Robbie has to be careful with his arms. Robbie Lawler fans here. But Carlos buying himself time. And Robbie's gonna make to get back up and recover from that big punch. So now Joe both men have landed. But that was without a doubt the biggest shot of the fight. For though. sure. The most significant shot. And Carlos was hurt. And as you mentioned, it's a patient Robbie Lawler. Yeah, we're looking at a different Robbie. We're lo looking at a much more mature, much more experienced Robbie Lawler and a much better train. Look at that. Check that kick right there. Robbie always said if he was a baseball player, he'd be a home run hitter. As he's gotten older, though, he's not afraid to take a few pitches before he swings. That is a huge difference in the attack of Lawler. Again with that high kick. Much more volume by Carlos Khan. Check both times, Joe. The big shot, of course, in this round so far was by Lawler, but... Oh, there's a nice one. counter there. Oh, he's looking to go over the top again. Total strikes as we approach the end of round two. The output, three to one, Carlos Condit. Up the middle. Nice kick across the top of the thighs by Carlos. And then one to the body there. Good movement so far by Carlos. Carlos has got to be careful with his chin up, Mike, as he's pulling out these exchanges. His, his chin goes way up. Final seconds. Of the second, he caught him on the way in with that uppercut. Robbie just fine though. Big smile from Robbie Lawler as he moves back to his corner, and this is why. Look at this right hand. Boom. Just takes the legs right out.
from under Carlos Condit. But look at Carlos the way he's standing. He was completely squared off. I mean, he caught him completely flat. Not one leg behind him, legs parallel. You're never supposed to be like that. It's that awkward movement of Condit. Kind of bit him in the ass right there. Fall off the side for the fight. Flunk the shit out of him. You got it? So what's he doing? High kick. High kick, right high kick. What's he doing? Is that left hooking you and left over? Go to your right. I'm going to be going there. Wait, what's wrong? Give him, give him a... Body motion, Rob. Body motion. Hey, don't wind it up too big, Rob. Hey, turn that right to straight. Turn that right to straight. Both of these men, spectacular finishers. 30 wins in the career of Condit. 28 finishes. But when you look at that knockdown, Mike, a lot of that was being off balance. But it was a very, very solid shot by Robbie Lawler. Carlos connected in round one. It was a very close fight. You can make the argument that we're tied here entering round three. I would definitely say that Robbie connected harder than him. Yes, absolutely. I mean, regardless of whether or not Carlos is off balance, it was just a much cleaner, harder shot. Lawler has finished 21 of his 26 wins, 20 with strikes. Carlos really throwing a lot of kicks and keeping Robbie at the end of them. Front kicks, round kicks, trying that one off the front leg. Neither man even thinking at this point about a takedown. Carlos is also being economical in the amount of effort he's putting into these kicks. These aren't 100% full power kicks. He's almost like creating distance with them. He's always been good at that, Joe. Well, it's one of the reasons why his endurance is so good. Doesn't waste any of his energy. He's putting together these combinations, trying to do damage. Robbie's right there on the right. And the right and left there as well. And again, when Carlos gets up against the cape, there's a knee to the body by Carlos. The knee up the middle is a dangerous weapon possessed oh. by Condit. That's finished. Here we go. But again, Robbie controlling the center of the cage. Carlos has got to be careful because he can't back up here. Utilizing that kick in the spin to get off the fence. Oh, uh, walks right into an elbow. Try to hook kick there, crazy. Good elbow by Robbie Lawler. Three minutes remain in the third. Lawler's just looking for his spots to drop a bomb. And that elbow was a bit of a wake-up call for Condit. Oh, that was a nice inside leg kick. Again, pretty much everything ends with that head kick, the high kick. Midway point of round three. Condit's corner calling for a body punch. Both men very familiar with five round fights. Carlos, the last ever WEC welterweight champ. Carlos, as he's throwing these combinations, his chin is straight up in the air. He's got to really be careful there. It's almost like he's trying to lean back, anticipating the potential counter. And trying to stay tall as if to get out of the way of him. Lawler, the reigning champ. Middleweight champ for strike force. Has been tremendous. Returning to 170 and moving to South Florida. Caught the leg. Nice kick there by Lawler. Very beautiful kick there by Condon. Attack the inside of the leg. And Robbie almost, almost caught him there running in. You can see Lawler very comfortable in the counter punch position. There's a nice knee to the body by Condit. Condit, another knee to the body. 
Condit with Lawler pressed up against the cage. Robbie turns him around. The clinch. Look at this. The final minute spins out. Robbie looking for a takedown there briefly. Now it's Robbie on the cage. Caught him with that right. Carlos right up the middle with those kicks and knees. Round three total Good strikes. Good kick to the body there by Condit. By 20, 21 now for Condit. Good leg kick there by Lawler, but that liver kick by Condit right before it was excellent. The output of total strikes. About a three to one advantage for the natural born killer. There's a nice knee by Condit. Caught Robbie on the chin. And there's a beautiful elbow, more of a forearm, really. Where Robbie caught him coming in, and Carlos tried to return but missed. Breathe, buddy, breathe. I want you to recover now. Hey, we're going to need these two rounds, okay? Good ones. All good ones now. Release all your good ones. Good ones. All good ones. All right, so you retook the momentum. He's going to try to take it back. Sure. Long kicks, yeah. good strikes. Okay, hit. Make sure you're flanking. Stay on the game plan. Even if you smell no, no, blood, no, no, stay disciplined. Stay on the game plan. Long body and elbows. Yes. Interesting. Long body and elbows. Championship rounds. Carlos Condit, ninth five round fight. Robbie Lawler, 12th five round fight. And Lawler's corner telling him we need these two. We need two good ones. Round four. Robbie went the distance in his first title defense. Pardon me, he went into the fifth round in his first title defense. He's gone the distance three times in five round fights. The Matt Brown fight was just oh, incredible. Insanity. And then the couple of fights with Johnny Hendricks. Oh. Good exchange there. It looked like Carlos might have connected with the right hand. He's taking these calculated risks as he steps in and doing different things every time he does it. It's, it's hard to predict what's coming, whether it's a knee or an elbow or a kick or a punch. Whereas Robbie's having success with the two main techniques, that and the right hand, the left and the right. Total strike attempts. Wow. Nearly 250 for Condit. We talked about it, Joe. He likes to utilize combinations that flow very perfectly. Well, he's incorporated a movement coach, which is all the rage now in MMA. And his guy, Erwan McCor, is the head of this thing called MoveNat. He does a lot of stuff in nature and a lot of balance drills and these different plyometric drills that involve balance. Very fascinating stuff. Carlos has landed more strikes than Robbie has thrown. We're seeing these movement coaches really start to play a big factor. Conor in McGregor. Yes. Yeah. Ido Portal. All, all these, these guys are using different people that are sort of acting as the glue in between their techniques. The footwork and the movement to get them to where they kick and punch and take down and submit. We talked numbers a moment ago, but the reality is this is a very close fight. Don't forget, when we finish on pay-per-view. Nice inside leg kick. Beautiful. Go to FS1, Karen Bryant, Daniel Cormier, Kenny Florent, Tyron Woodley, Ariel Hawani here. The post-fight show on FS1 after our pay-per-view. Midway point of round four. Robbie looked to connect there with that straight left. Pushes forward again. Oh, he caught him with a little bit of a punch there over the top, and Carlos landed a right hand there. Robbie pressing the action yeah, here. You can see a sense of urgency in Robbie Lawler, especially considering Joe with his corner set. That's a slip. Good knee to the body there by Condit. 
about needing big rounds here in four and five. But we're, we're seeing more diversity and more creativity from Condit. But all that could change with one Robbie Lawler bomb. It almost did in the second round. So he's just mixing things up so well and giving him so many different things to look at. There's another one, steps into the uppercut. He caught him with a left hook there. Again, initiating the exchange, Carlos Condit. A lot of pressure by Condit here. Flying knee. Showing a potential spin, and then comes up the middle. There's a hard kick to the bottom. And that was the difference between that one and some of these other ones that he's being more economical with, like that one. That's not a full power kick, but that right kick was. He had Robbie on the cage, Joe, and he had Robbie coming in yes. towards his right leg. And he knew it was there. Yep, tied perfectly. Robbie's almost being too economical, Mike. I mean, he's really got to take more chances. This is a dangerous situation for him where he may need to win this fight by knockout. Good Absolutely. kick to the body there by Condit. Just by sheer volume alone. Yep. There he's looking for it. Oh, oh he tagged him. He tagged him. Tagged him behind the ear. Kick to the body. Robbie's in trouble. Carlos Condit trying to dig in. Robbie says bring it. But Carlos playing it smart here. Spin. Spin. Knee. He was looking for that spin earlier. Nice left to the body. 20 seconds on the clock. Spinning Another spin. To the body. Robbie looked at the clock. 15. Another knee up the middle. Excellent combination by Condit. Oh! Big swing by Robbie. What a round for the natural born killer. Big, big round for Carlos Condit. And a round that Robbie Lawler needed. Let's see some of the action here. And there's that nice inside leg kick that knocked Robbie down. And there's a right hand by Robbie and a right hand by Carlos at the same time. And here's the left hand. Look at this left hand. Boom. Carlos was shorter and he caught Robbie on the chin and hurt him. And there's a right hand behind the ear. Look at this. Boom. They both threw, but Carlos's punches, as we alluded to earlier, were shorter. Shorter, more technical strikes as opposed to wide, looping punches. Go forward. Use a jab. Use a jab. Because where Carlos is just trying to land, Robbie's trying to destroy. And oftentimes, in doing that, you open yourself up. While the numbers may not even be close, the battle is judged by rounds, and we have five minutes remaining. As they battle for 12 pounds of gold. Lawler, Condit, fifth and final round. Let's see how quickly ruthless Robbie Lawler shows a much needed sense of urgency. So he's already, he, he's got the look right now, like he's stepping it up. But that could leave him open for counters, especially those short punches by Carlos. If Robbie winds up too much, if he opens himself up too much, trying to win by knockout. Nice leg kick. Over Good the left top. hand over the top. Good head movement. Ducking under out of harm's way, at least for now, by Condit. Good he right hand by Condit. Carlos has got to be careful. This is an urgent Robbie Lawler. Absolutely. And justifiably so, Joe. Robbie wants to get him up against the cage again. Oh. Right hand. Big right hand by Lawler. Over the top again with a follow-up left. Robbie has connected. Carlos looking for elbows. Good left hand by Carlos. Wow, look at that combination. Eight, and a kick to the bottom. Strikes. Just the diversity of his attack. And the spin against. Those slicing elbows. Look to push off the cage. 
under three and a half remains in this fight. It's just a constant volume by Condit as well. Time to let it all go. Leave it all in the octagon again. Good combination Condit by Condit. So precise. Oh, good left hand. Three minutes ago, Robbie Lawler, if he wants to retain his title, he's got to really go into desperation mode, Mike. Carlos bloodied up, but far from beating total strikes. The statistics are so lopsided. We tagged him there. Nearly 400 strikes thrown by the natural born killer. Boy, Robbie Lawler, there's a nice kick Robbie by Robbie. Lowe's. This is his opportunity, Joe. Good right hand gets off the cage. Good movement there by Robbie, excuse me, by Condit. As he landed that right hand, got away from the potential counter. Past the midway point of our fifth and final Beautiful round. Beautiful combination by Condit. Really mixing it up well with that step in left uppercut. Lawler again with that big left. Carlos able to just get out of the way. Carlos showing that the best defense in this fight for him has been his offensive output. Yeah, just massive volume from Condit. Under two remains. Will we open 2016 with another new champion? Excellent combination by Condit. Oh, oh. Robbie landed in the right hand. The left hand. So oh. nice. In 2015, Robbie, Robbie again gets him. him at the left. 90 oh. seconds. Condit's Lowe, in we're trouble. looking to finish it. Ruthless Robbie Lawler. Oh, he's again on the top with a knee. Plenty of time to go. Lawler knows he has to finish this fight. He tagged him again with the left. Head kick. And again. What a fight. Again! Lawler continuously delivering great strikes. What a chin on Carlos Condit. Under a minute on the clock. What a fight. Robbie again looks up. 40 seconds remain. Carlos with the combination. Robbie with the right hand. I just said earlier, Joe, time to leave it all in the octagon. And man, these guys are doing exactly that. Under 30. 20. Left hook by Condit. Right hand by Condit. And a left again. Great recovery by Condit. Beautiful coming, head kick. Seconds of this fight. Oh my God! It what is over. What they a fight. go the distance with nothing left. Look at these guys. Literally nothing left. Emptied out. The fight Unbelievable. once again. Born to fight. Unbelievable. That might have been one of the best rounds in the history of the welterweight division. What? Incredible. This fight Incredible. turned out exactly as advertised. Wow. Fight replay brought to you by Bud Light. The perfect beer for whatever happens. I can't sit down. Here we see Condit. There's a left hand by Long, and that's the big right hand. Perhaps one of the biggest shots of the fight. And there's a knee by Condit. And Lawler fires back. There's a forearm by Lawler catching Condit coming in. There's a nice inside leg kick. A right hand by Lawler. And a right hand by Condit right after. They exchange right hands. Left hook by Lawler. Excuse me, by Condit. And that's the one that hurt Robbie. You see Robbie wobble backwards. Step in. Left uppercut. Right hand behind it. 
And this is the final round where Robbie Lawler just gave it all he had and had Carlos Condit in all sorts of trouble. What an exchange in that fifth and final round. Just an absolutely spectacular championship MMA fight. And at the end of the fight, look at this. At the end of the fight, both men have nothing left. Absolutely. They had to lean up against the cage. They were literally drained. Ruthless Robbie Lawler. The natural born killer, Carlos Condit, go the distance. Will he defend for the second time, or will Carlos Condit be the new UFC welterweight champion? Time for our official decision, brought to you by Metro PCS, where you get nationwide coverage on the Blazing Fast 4G LTE T Mobile Network for just $30 period. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. Tony Weeks scores the contest, 48-47, Condit. Chris Lee scores it, 48-47, Lawler. And Derek Perry scores it, 48-47, for the winner by split decision, and still the undisputed USC Walter White Champion of the World. Who Robbie Lawler! What a fun. I'm going to interview both of you guys, but I'm going to talk to the champ first. Robbie, first of all, congratulations on one of the best fights, one of the best fights I've ever seen in my life. Particularly the fifth and final round was just amazing. Your corner told you, headed into the fourth, that you needed those last two. Yeah, uh, Carlos is a hell of a fighter, comes from one of the best camps in the world. He had a great game plan, we battled it out, there was two winners tonight, and still, but let's do it again. That fifth round was just nothing short of spectacular, Robbie. You knew that your back was against the wall, you knew it was a very close fight, and you came out guns blazing. When you did that, was, was, were you surprised at all that he was able to absorb these shots? Man, Carlos is so tough, it's every time I see him fight, he proves everyone wrong, shows how tough he is. He's been doing this for a long time. Hats off to a champion, Carlos Condit. Was there anything surprising about this fight to you? No, he was everything everyone said he was. He's tough as hell, he's technical as hell, and he's in shape. Congratulations and thank you for an amazing, amazing fight. Robbie Law, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Carlos Condit. Carlos, what an incredible fight. It's an, an amazing, amazing fight. About as close as it gets. Going into that fifth and final round, did you think that you were ahead on the cards? Uh, it, it was close, but I thought, I, you know, there's a good chance that I was ahead. But I, I never rely on that. I went in there, I knew he was going to come out guns a-blazing, so, I, you know, I still, I'm still, even in the fifth round, even if you think you're winning, you got to still fight. You got to still win that, that, that last round. Well, you showed an incredible chin in that fifth round. How badly were you hurt, if at all? Um, like, not, not neurologically, but I mean, you know, I, I'm lumped up a little bit. When the fight was over, did you think that you had done enough to get the decision? Yeah, I, I felt like I had three rounds in the bag, but, uh, you know, that, that's, that's why you don't leave the fucking... Uh, that's why you don't leave it to the judges. Listen, this was a fight between two incredible fighters and one of the best fights I've ever seen in my life. Thank you very much for an incredible, incredible performance. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. I appreciate it. I love what I do. I love being able to come out here and, you know, fight, fight absolute warrior like, like Robbie Lawler. You know, I'm, I'm blessed to do what I love for a living and come out and perform and, and entertain you guys. Thank you.